It's important. It's a story that can truly impact the world. I, I really, really believe that, that it's a message that is for now. Right now is the time for this film to happen. You know, we can think back uh, in, in history to films that impacted the world. Close Encounters of the Third Kind is, is an example, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. That film touched so many hearts and minds around the world. It was important in its day to begin the dialogue. It definitely began the dialogue that we are now in a position to continue, but in a more authentic and more real way, because John Mack was a real person. The work he did was authentic and sincere. And this is not a fantasy, this film. This is reality. John Mack's story, and I just, I know this, it's in the deepest part of my being, will touch hearts and minds around the planet and really spark a sincere dialogue about the real possibility that we're not alone in the universe. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's, it's, you know, that's its purpose. It's entertainment, yes, but it's a lot more than that. What was it that, that drew you to the John Mack story? Well, I have to really say that the story found me. I did not find the story. The, the series of events that brought me to uh, knowing about John Mack is really quite magical and serendipitous. And uh, I, I, my ears started ringing out of nowhere and I couldn't ignore it. And I was led to a woman in the back of a metaphysical bookstore in Los Angeles. And she told me about John Mack and within three minutes of hearing about him, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is something that I absolutely have to do. And I understood it right away. Um, I empathized with John Mack's story. I thought he was incredibly courageous, uh, given his credentials. And uh, I started to pursue the details of the story. And I met with his family members. And after four and a half years of, of gaining their trust, they finally granted me the life rights to do his story, which is really quite an honor. Wow. It's got to be handled. You know, it could be handled a lot of different ways. And my job is to make sure that it's handled in the classiest, most authentic and sincere way possible. I took this around to several companies in Hollywood and almost everyone loved it. And, and it was like, oh, I wish this were my project. You know, oh, it's not my project. Well, give it to me 100%. And that was never going to be an option. Right, because then you never know. Then that's when the distortion comes in. Yeah, and because this, this is something that I was called to do. Mm -hmm. I really know that. And there needs to be a certain level of integrity uh, you know, throughout the project. I, ha I owe the family. They entrusted me with the rights. That's no small thing. It took four and a half years to convince them that my intentions were sincere and that I would tell a story that was authentic. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and the abductees. Also, I befriended a lot of them and a lot of John's friends and colleagues. And I'm going to make sure that it's done on the highest level.